Alright, welcome back guys. And I have put in a new railroad track here. And we're going to be using that for transporting stuff over to our uh, research area here. Which I noticed I need a uh, thing right here. Um, where in the world? Oh, that's the wrong one. I need to be up here. So let me get a radar up here in this area. We'll just throw one. Oop. Just throw one right here. There we go. Now we can see all of it. And I put it just south of where the solar panels are. I'll probably, if we're going to do any more solar, start bringing them across this way. We'll just have to fill in a bit of the bay there, which is fine. But I wanted to start on our uh, chrome research packs. And I figured over here will be about the best place to do it. So first thing I'm going to do is grab this and we're going to put it in right here this is going to be a pickup station instead of a hey there's a polluted steam fission right there fissure right there there's a couple of them we need to check those out yet all right so this is going to be a uh, chrome research pack pickup, and we can change that to uh, that is purple. There we go. So we're gonna have that picked up here. Which just means we need to change all of these to go this way instead of the other way. I'm going to take that out of there for right now. We'll put it back in when we're ready. So for this, um, we need chrome beams. We know that. We have the beams here. And then if we put this down here, we're also going to need advanced circuits and advanced motors. We already have advanced motors being made. Uh, we even have them right here on this belt. So we should, I hope, be able to get this across here. And the pistons won't be coming up here any longer. And we do have two of these assemblers over here making the... Uh, where are they? Here they are. Two of them making them. And since we have our um, brass done, which I didn't grab any of, we can actually upgrade those to the advanced assemblers once we get the brass up here if we need more but for right now we're just going to go with uh the regular ones we have there and just see how well we can get this uh done so we're just going to bring these over and we're going to do this we need to see just how fast we make these beams so that's going to be one important thing here. Can this keep up? What do you mean low power? Wow, that's low. How did we get so low? What in the world is going on? We have all kinds of natural gas. Okay, it flipped. 
apparently we need to fix our um our thing to kick these back on but how in the world I know it's nighttime so we have no wait a minute Did, there's no solar showing up on that and there's only one accumulator I somehow broke I know how I broke it too when I was putting in this line right here, which doesn't have connection, um, I broke a wire down here. I had one that was running across here, and I'll bet you that's the problem. So let's go fix that real quick. So we're not getting any power from our accumulators and solar panels up there. And also, apparently, yep, I forgot some. This might actually fix it. We'll see. I forgot that pole. And... Wait a minute, why is that? That should connect there. There we go. And to get it just the right spot. And let's just bring yeah, this. That is supposed to be like that. And if we connect to that there, that has the solar panels and the accumulators on it. So that fixes that part. Now that that's in there, once we get this in here, that has everything. Okay. Everything's fixed. Alright, so let's get back over here and figure out what we're doing with these power plants here. Or these uh, research packs here. Make sure we have all the power down here. Yep, we've got all four. We're good. Alright, so we're going to put this one down here just in case we need to put in more things for making beams. Because I'm assuming we're going to. And we're going to put that there. So then that'll take our beams. And we need the advanced motors and then advanced circuits. And we have our advanced circuits coming down right here. So we can just do this and then drag this over. And we can have it, yeah, let's just do this. No reason to have both of these. And like I said, these shouldn't be on here any longer. Because I stopped them from coming through. We'll just rip this one out of here. All right, fine, I'll do it. I don't want them grabbing it and putting it somewhere weird. All right, now where do I want to put this? Because if I put it, um, because I'm thinking we're going to need more of these here. 
is what I'm figuring. So I guess we need to move this up one. And then we'll just have this. Uh, you're not going to jump all the way across there. All right, so then we're going to bring it over here. And we'll jump it across here. That'll keep it out of the way. And we'll bring it down through there. And then we'll have this right there to input into there. And I'm figuring we're going to probably have a couple of these as well. So we can just copy this, paste it there, and take out that extra pole that we won't need. There we go, that takes care of that. And now we can just do outputs up here with a pole going to a thing. And how are we doing on... Eh, the electroplating is not doing too bad. We might definitely need to put in a little bit more for the plates and the rods it's keeping up decently at the moment not perfectly but decently so we might want to make a few more but this will definitely help use up our chrome And then we can just run this over and up through here. And have it go in. I don't want to cover that. So it looks like if we go there, we'll be fine. And we'll have that go into there. And that'll give us our analysis packs for Chrome. Uh, so far, we're doing okay on the motors. Let's go back and see how we're doing back here. Make sure we're not getting too far down on them. Yeah, it looks like we're doing really good on the motors. All right, so it is getting a little bit low. But that's not a seriously terrible problem. Uh, we can always put in some more. It looks like we might actually need to put in... Well, we're definitely going to have to put in more gears if we do more, but it... Looks like, well, we also have those upgrades. Let's go grab some gra brass and see about upgrading the assemblers and small assemblers. So, let's see. The advanced assembler is brass gears and the small advanced assembler doesn't need brass at all. Okay, so we only need brass for that. I am going to send brass up there so we can automate these at some point. But right now I just want to try them out and see just how good they are. Um, it says crafting speed is 2.5, where the regular one is 1.25. So it should be twice as fast. 
We need a large steel frame to make any more of those. All right, so we should have plenty of brass. Let's go up and take a look at this. I'm a brass taking lead. I don't think we're going to be replacing all of our assemblers like we typically would. But we can uh, change out a few here and there. So let's go take a look at this real quick. Because we should be able to... Uh, where are the... Let me feel those. Make a second advanced assembler. And we need more of the small ones. We'll make about four of those at the moment. And then we'll set this, this, and why is this guy turned sideways? That's part of your problem right there. And I guess we should upgrade these guys to blue ones as well. Because they're going to need to go faster. And we probably should upgrade these as well. Oops, I missed one. There we go. So let that get done there's our first advanced assembler it's not getting enough plates in there fast enough so let's upgrade both of these it's just not getting plates fast enough so we definitely need to get the um small assemblers done so we can Uh, let's just... Why does that need... I don't know. It's doing what it needs to do. Alright, so there's one gear... There's two gear. Alright, plates are getting done now. Let's see, that's advanced, that's advanced. Advanced, advanced, and advanced. So the gears are done. Why is this? Oh, that works so well that we're actually backed up now. All right, so that was a nice advancement. Let's go see what's going on down at this end. Okay, so we definitely need another electroplater which we need some steel plates for. Oh, we need like 40 steel plates. That needs a lot of steel plates. All right, so let's make another one of these and put it in for the plates, because that looks like our major bottleneck is the plates. We'll just put this here, and we can do this. And we need a um, filter inserter. And that is a regular filter inserter, which we have. And we can just copy that over.
That one's staying empty, so this one will stay empty. All right. There we go. That should be good for our plates now. This one down here isn't staying running. So if we want to upgrade this anymore, we're going to have to put in more of those. And we'll have to put in more of these, which I'll probably just copy these three machines, move them back here. Let's go see how many of these we've actually gotten made. So we've got 10, 10, 20, 30, that's 50, and then another 30, and then 10 and 10. So we've got 60, 70, 80, 100, not counting what's on those, so. That's not bad in that short amount of time. Um, we actually need, if we're going to start this, we need 500 of them. And it looks like 500 straight through. We need 800 for that. We need 1,000 for that. And then if we want military three, it's another 500 for that. So we're definitely going to want to upgrade this now we can put speed modules in here if we want to speed this up but i personally think we'll just kind of upgrade it um rods are going okay at the moment but i seriously think we're gonna do more of them as well the rivets were fine on so I think if we just move this over here, except, you know, not there because that's off. If we move it over to here, we don't need that pole anyways. And then we can just do this like that. And we can do the same thing right down here that'll take care of that. And then we can just take, let's see where I want to do this at. So I'm thinking we would do, yeah, that water is going to be right in the way. probably move that actually since it's just water we don't have to worry about that um, messing up the environment at all so we can just have that instead come in from down here And then we can just do this. And then that'll take care of that. What do I need to make these electroplaters? Because I'm probably going to be making a whole lot more of these. I need copper rod, steel plate advanced motor and large steel frame and i don't think i made those up here because i don't have copper in this area i'd have to bring either in a copper train or i'd have to take copper off of here and that's what i'm gonna do um this is yeah this is the electroplater so I just need to bring copper into here. So give me a small one we'll put here. We'll set that to copper rod. And we'll do that. And we'll go ahead and just start auto crafting up 
electric platers since we need a bunch of them. Because I'm guessing I'm going to be upgrading this a lot. Oh, hey, my inventory's full. Imagine that. I need to set a logistics thing for logs to zero so they'll get that stuff cleared out of my inventory. And then once this copper gets down here, we can do this. And set that, set this for the electroplater, set that for electroplater is less than, and we'll just say 20 because I probably won't put in more than 20 of them at a time. And now the bots can grab those and put them in over here where they need to go. Because this is all within construction bot area. We got plenty of power. Oh, we actually ran out of rods. Holy crap. I didn't think we'd run out of rods. We actually did. How did we run out of rods? Oh, we ran out of electroplater stuff. Okay, so we've got to put in more of the electroplater thing. So give me a second. I'll get that done. And we'll take a look at it. All right, that should fix it. Put in a whole lot more of them. Change this over. It looks a little weird here on the beginning, but that's because of how we had them coming in. But this is what I ended up doing for the, um, the belts and we are full up on chrome plates and we're making the chrome rods now which it's still oh wait a minute um yep that's what I did I forgot to hook up all of these. Okay, so now we got plenty of chrome rods coming through. That should get better in a minute. Let's go ahead and uh, make our filtered inserters so they can get them shoved in there and that'll give us more of that stuff. I may end up changing one of these over to rods. It won't be a big deal if I need to. My, I can also tuck this over a lot closer. I have these way more spread out than what I need to. But that'll get everything in there. We got all three of them running. So we should be good. And with that, at least for the moment. So now. We need to come down here and set up a area for the drop off. And do I have a train on me? Yes, I do. 
So let's head on over here. And the gold is a flowing. Oh, you mean you have no path? Oh, it's missing a thing down there. Hold on. I got this. When I put in the junction here, apparently they didn't put that in. So now he should be able to see that as a valid path. Hmm. Wait a minute, is that on the wrong side of the... It is. That's on the wrong side. Because for some reason I put that train in backwards. So I'm going to have to move... This coal train up. For right now... I should be able to do this. Um, let's see. Yeah. If I do that, because he's going to be the only one coming this way, so it needs to go this way, and this one needs to go that way and then here it needs to go this way and that way and that should fix it I think because he should now hmm because he should be able to see that he can come around there into this mess and then back out on the proper side. Which that should be. Is there a track? There shouldn't be a track missing because none of those came out. That's going that direction. She's going that direction, so yeah. Hmm. I'm confused on why that did not work. Uh, what if we do this in the middle? That does not help anything. That goes that way. That goes that way. That should tell it, it can go both directions there. Uh... Do I need to move that up? Because I'm thinking, do I need like this? That way he knows he can go through there. Apparently not. I've never had this problem before. Uh, what if instead of doing that then... We do this. We just cross them. Is that an option? If we just cross them like that, that's a horrible looking cross, but if we do that, huh, that's weird. Cold drop off. Cold pick up. Yeah, you would think that would work because he'd be able to come down here and go that way. Which is the way he wants to go. I don't need one of these here, do I? Alright, let's send him out manually. 
I'm not even sure why he's trying to leave, because he's not empty. He shouldn't be trying to leave. But... Okay, so he can't get through there. If I bring this down here... That's going to the right side. Now if I do cold pickup... Okay, so it has nothing to do with this area. So he still can't get through. So let's see. We get down here. He can go through all of that. Oh! The other end is going to be messed up too. Because now if he's coming through this way, he's going to be doing this. So we just need to grab this and move it. We need to put it here. And copy that. Paste it there. That was the problem. So now if we set that to cold pickup... He should go all the way around and come back in just fine. Goes down, goes to the drop off, comes around, and he comes in. Um, I'm not sure why he didn't stop to get. Uh, coal pickup greater than 4k. Um, how much is in there? 5k, so yeah, that's why. So, it's fine. I'm not sure why it's set for 4K. I think it's supposed to be 8K, isn't it? Now let's bump that up now to 8K. All right, so I'll keep an eye on that. Let's go ahead and get our other drop-off set here. Um, we need them to go into here. So, we're just going to do this. And then we'll have it come back out over here. Which is honestly going to have to go that way. But we'll let it go either way. It's never going to be coming from that direction. It'll always be coming from this direction. Someone can just set this right here. We'll put in one of these. To block that off, we'll set this as our um, Chrome Research drop off and pick that so we can pick it out easier. And then we'll just put in our train, that, and we'll have it go to, oh, it probably can't see the pickup because I don't have everything set right yet. I didn't put in any of the things here. So we'll have that wait for full cargo. Then we're going to have it go to the power station and 
Time pass. 30 seconds should be fine. Because we're now on the bigger batteries. And then we'll have it come to the drop off. Alright. I can go ahead and give it 25 batteries. And we'll set a. I'll copy over a thing. And we go ahead and get this set here so it can start going. So this is going this way to there. There's another one here. And then this one going to there. And we're going to change that one out and that one out. So now that is coming out going that way. This one can go through there. Uh, we also going to need one of those to block that off. Alright, so now what is that one's issue? It can come across here, down, and up into here. Uh, everything looks good in there. Although, could do one of those, but I don't need it. Hmm. Alright. You've got a green signal coming through there. You've got a green signal going through there. So, what is your problem? Uh, put it on manual. And we'll bring it out here. I do have that going the right way, right? That's going down. No, I don't have it going the right way. That's the problem. Why did I think these went on the inside? <sighs> Hold on. Oops. You missed. You're supposed to turn there. Okay. You sit right there a second. They go on the outside. Okay, so that's coming down. Going through there. Um, no, that does not go there. It goes there. Now. Go there. You can go there. That's the wrong spot. That needs to go there. No, wait a minute. Did I do the comes out. Oh! I set the whole exit up wrong. This is supposed to go out to there. That's where I screwed it up. I need to set these. This is honestly why I don't have blueprints for all these things, because I keep screwing them up. And until I do it enough times, I'm going to keep screwing them up. So if I keep doing them, eventually I'll stop screwing it up, is my hope. All right, we don't need that one. All right, so that should be good. 
it's coming over here. It's picking them up. And I think I'm actually going to limit this train down. At least for the time being. To where it only picks up like a thousand of them tops. But let's go ahead and see this thing do what it needs to do. So it's now down at the power station, filling up with batteries, dropping off the one empty that it had. And yeah, 30 seconds is more than enough time for that. I could even probably take that down to 30 seconds or down to 15 seconds, actually. There we go. And then he'll come out of there. Why is he going? Oh, yeah, because we don't have a. Yeah, he has to go all the way out and around. And then he comes down through here. Around there. And I didn't tell him to... Um, uh, not full cargo. Dork. Uh, empty cargo. There we go. So, we can just send him straight back here. He doesn't need to go to the power. Now I can, this is going to be a drop off, so we'll just copy this and put it right here. And where are the big poles? I want this connected to, yeah, there's one. So we'll go from there to there. That'll get that done. And now we need to put in another one. And the way I typically do this is like this. I know other people have other ways that they like to do them, but... This is the way I like to do it. And then all I have to do is have these go in from here. And actually, we can now do upgrade. All of these to quick ones. And now for some reason this isn't going in, those can do it as well. Alright, so now we can go ahead and get started. I want to get this military one done first. Because I want that combat shotgun. And then we'll probably look at the advanced engine after that. And there we go. They are running our new research. And the train's empty, so it's ran back on up there. I think we're going to do the same thing with the military ones that we have coming out right here, the explosive ones uh, that we've got ran on this long line all the way through there. I think I'm just going to send it down and put it onto a train down here below the copper and we'll send them in and I'll just have them come in on a another train uh, like right here. So basically we'll just do this I may not have it you know exactly that spot but it'll basically go just like that except I don't have enough rails 
Uh, it'll go just like that. I'll have to make sure I got enough room for the output, which I do. So we'll just throw that there. And I'll have to fix that part, but we'll put one here. And I'll get that done in between. And we got bots out dying in these things again. I really got to get through those. So they'll stop going out there and dying to the worms out there. Alright, so I think this has been a long and drawn out episode. Anybody that's still here, hit the buttons, do the things. And I'll see you guys next time. Later. Uh-huh.